So you want to step up your video game, but you don't know where to begin? In this video, we're going to talk about three, no, four ways to connect your camera to your Mac using Detail. This guide should get you started really quick, and we'll even share some pro tips at the end. Spoiler alert, yes, we support almost all cameras. So stay put and let's dive in. The first method is probably the most foremost and easy way to get started with really smooth and good looking video. The good news, you don't need to do anything special or buy new additional hardware. The only requirement to connect your iPhone with your Mac via continuity camera is that you are running the latest version of macOS and iOS. We did a previous video on continuity camera, but we'll go in a bit deeper on the how and why you would want to use continuity camera. Apple is constantly working on making their devices work better together and one of their latest additions is continuity camera. Although some limitations, continuity camera is probably the best and easy way of converting your iPhone into a high quality webcam for your Mac. The cool thing is that this works wired, but definitely also wirelessly. Out of the box, the experience is really smooth. To let continuity camera work, both devices need to be logged in with the same Apple ID and you need to have two-factor authentication enabled. It works so well that if you bring your iOS device near your computer, it sometimes will automatically switch to continuity camera, which can be a bit annoying. If you want to toggle this manually, you can go to settings, general, airplay and handoff and switch the continuity camera on or off. The quality of continuity camera is surprisingly good and it works in all of your favorite recording or streaming tools. There are some downsides of continuity camera. Actually, there are not so many, but if you insist, as mentioned before, continuity camera requires you to be logged into the same app ID. So using your friend's new iPhone will not work. The next downside is that you can only select the main camera lens. So no selfie cam or wide shots with continuity camera. Next up is to connect your iOS device using Detail for iOS. It works similar to a continuity camera, but you first need to download Detail for iOS. Open the Detail app on your phone and launch Detail on your Mac. Dito will detect your Mac automatically and connects your iPhone. This can be done wirelessly, but for higher quality, we recommend you use a wired connection. The cool thing about using Dito for iOS in favor of continuity camera is that you can now use all of your lenses of your iPhone. You happen to have a new iPhone 14 Pro? Enjoy the ultra wide lens to capture the whole room or use the telezoom to get a more cinematic looking shot. But wait, there's more. With D2 for iOS, you can connect multiple iOS devices at the same time and you can use your friend's iPhone or even that older phone that you decommissioned. Okay, I get it. When you started watching this video, you meant really step up your video game. Not playing around with iPhones? No worries, we got you. Let's take a look at the next two ways of connecting your camera to your Mac. The third method is to use any camera that supports USB out. What this essentially means is that your pro camera now becomes a webcam but one with stunning quality. Most current cameras with USB ports support this. What you get in return is a really quick way to connect multiple cameras to your Mac that instantly will boost your image quality. The cool thing, if you use hybrid cameras, like for example this Sony a7 IV, is that you can change lenses and get the truly cinematic look. Most camera brands will let you connect their camera instantly to your Mac. But some manufacturers require you to download the plugin first to let your camera work as a webcam. Another big benefit to connect your camera via USB is that you don't need to record in camera and you don't need to think about offloading SD cards because D2 will capture all cameras at the same time. Last benefit before we continue on is that using a USB connection to connect your camera to your Mac will keep your camera juiced up so you can stop thinking about battery life. The last way to connect your camera to your Mac is to use a capture card. It's very likely that your older hybrid camera might not support a USB connection to your Mac, but it probably does have an HDMI port, and therefore you can capture that output into detail. There are a plethora of capture cards and they come in various price classes. It's very important to state, while some of them claim to capture 4K, they're more likely able to input a 4K signal, but they will only be able to record full HD. Our pick for a capture card is either the Camlink 4K or a generic one from Amazon. The first one goes for around 100 to 120 bucks and the last one is roughly 20 bucks. The Camlink is more pricey, but has the best image quality. If you really want to go crazy and capture even more pro cameras, use a Blackmagic Design Recorder 3G to capture your studio camera over SDI. Speaking of pro, one of the limitations of connecting your camera via USB is that you often only can record in Rec. 709. No color profiles, no log. When recording via HMI, you can output log video from your camera and Detail will record it in log also, so more color grading options. 
And there you have it, four ways to connect your camera to your Mac. With these tips, you can hopefully start creating cool content from super easy using the continuity camera to more pro, if you will, by using a capture card. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite way of connecting is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.